Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your listing on a TikTok shop. So, if you already create your seller account, they're going to obviously ask you to register your business. It's going to take some time to validate your data because they will need your ID, etc. So, those are the steps that you will want to pay attention to. I've already done all of those steps. And I've already connected my shop to my TikTok account, so now I can begin to add my first product. If you're already done with all of the stuff that I've told you before, you are going to find this at your first product option. So you can go ahead and click on get started. And over here, you have some options to add your product. You can add it manually. And it says here that if you upload it manually, it means that you're going to add product to Seller Center one at a time. Or if you already have some file, let's say usually they will use a CSV for this kind of upload. You can create a bulk upload and it says here that you can select your product categories, download their templates, enter all of your product information and upload the template again to auto populate multiple products at once. It's going to save some time if you already have your data, but you have if you haven't, you can always add your product manually. Or you can also add your product via Seller Center app. It says that you can go mobile, you can just upload and manage your products anytime with the Seller Center app. Today, I'm going to show you how to upload your product manually. So we can go ahead and click on Upload Manually. And this is actually where you can, set, you can start and insert your product. So here's the thing that you can actually do when you want to sell some product on TikTok shop. You don't really have to stock your product on your place. You can do this thing called drop shipping. It means that you're going to resell someone else's product. You just have to find a shop that allows reseller program. And if you don't really know which shop would you like to take, you can always go to the bigger e-commerce such as Amazon or maybe AliExpress, etc. So the way you're going to resell from the other platform is basically by taking a look at their listing. I'm going to show you right now. Let's say that you want to sell something from Amazon. Go ahead and go to Amazon right here. And there's actually two ways for you to do this because uh, Amazon actually have affiliate program so you can sell your product by getting Amazon affiliate link and then put it on your TikTok. But if you're going to create a listing, which means that you later will make an order on Amazon after someone is purchasing the product on your TikTok account, you're going to want to try to find a product. Let's try to find a headset. All right, let's say that you're going to sell this headset right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this headset and then you're going to want to copy all of the things that are listed on this listing right here and paste it on your TikTok listing. For example, here, the first thing that you're going to want to fill is this product name right here. So TikTok actually gives you a product name recommendation. It says that the recommend length is 25 character or more and category will be identified automatically according to the product name. So TikTok already gave you a suggestion. It says here that you can add your brand, the content, the scope of application, product type, main function, features, etc. If you already have your product, if you already have a product that you will want to sell and it came from other platform, you can simply just copy the information that, are, that appeared on that platform but if you don't really like things to be super long, as you can see, this title is pretty long. You can always remake the title. You can always rename it, make it shorter. Either you create it on your own or you can also ask the help of ChatGPT to do that for you. So let's say I'm just going to leave the name as it is. I'm going to paste it. All right. Once you get your title, what you're going to do next is you're going to fill in on your category. So right here, it says that some categories are in fight only and can't be selected. To add these categories, you can click on this apply for category permission and you shouldn't upload 
any prohibited or restricted product and they're going to again automatically assign the categories for you but you should always recheck whether the category that they automatically assign to you is right or not and you can do that by simply clicking on this category and if you feel like it's not right you can always search on what kind of category your product might be in and select the right one mine's already assigned it to the right category so i'm going to go to the next step which is to insert the brand of the product if this is your own product and your product or your business is already quite big there might be a chance where tiktok already have your brand on it but if your business hasn't been listed yet as a part of the brand on tiktok shop or maybe the product that you're trying to sell doesn't really have any brand on it you can always enter it as no brand you can always add it as no brand as you can see there is a product as no branded you can select no brand at the bottom so you can go ahead and click on select and it's going to automatically add the no brand selections into your brand next you're going to want to insert the product attributes so this attribute it says that if you provide the product attributes, it's going to give your customer a more comprehensive understanding of the product. As you can see, these are the attributes for my product. So let's say that I'm not going to give any warranty. So let's say it's a no warranty. Is it gaming focus? Well, not really. It's not really a gaming focus. So I'm not going to say it is. So no. Connection types going to be wired is is it wired yeah it is it is wired and then material it's going to be plastic with magnet no battery capacity it's not so the one that doesn't have this uh little stars right here are not you don't really have any obligation to fill it in so as much uh Feel free to add as much attributes as you can because it's going to make your products more trustworthy. And after you're done with that, you're going to go to the media. So what are we going to do if you're going to sell something from other platform? It's obviously you're going to want to download the pictures of the platform. You can always go ahead and download it. Go click on it and you can save this image. Let's say so we're going to save it. Just for an example, and then you're going to want to upload it to your TikTok shop. And it's going to wait until it uploaded. Obviously, the more pictures you put, it's going to it's going to be better because that way people are going to be able to know your product even more. So make sure to insert more product pictures if you can especially if you're getting product from other places they're going to give you the pictures all you have to do is just download it and we upload it to your tiktok shop next you're going to want to add your product description and all you have to do if again you're getting your product from somewhere else you can always just copy the product description from the other platform and paste it to your TikTok shop or if you don't really know what to add you can always enter some keywords and AI are going to help you to create your product description let's try to create an example let's use our title as the keyword so I'm going to go ahead copy it and I'm going to paste it and then let's try to ask for generate and as you can see ai is going to help you create the description so again if you're adding your own product and you don't really know what to say on the description box you can always use the help of ai to create your product description i'm just going to copy this one for now and then after that of course you're going to want to add your price now if you're trying to add a product from other place you can see the price for now is 17.99 and let's try to convert it to rupiah 17 usd to idr and it's around like 266 
rupiah obviously if i would like to make a profit out of it i will want to increase the price a little bit so i'm just going to increase the price to let's say 150 and it's going i'm going to have like for one quantity i'm going to insert the sku i don't bother with it and then you're going to want to insert the shipping information you can choose whether you want the way to be in kilograms or in gram doesn't really say but you can always fill in the details i'm going to say that it's going to weigh around 1.5 and if you got the product dimension go ahead and fill it in and then the next step is you're going to want to choose your delivery item this delivery option is actually going to differ depends on which countries you're creating your TikTok shop in. For me, I have two options. The default one is going to have this price 17,200 17, rupiah, but I can always add custom in which the price doesn't really differ that much. Let's say if I choose a custom, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. And then I can also choose whether I want I want my payment to have the options for cash on delivery or not. I'm just going to turn it off. And then on the right side of your screen, you're going to be able to see the preview of how people are going to see your product. As you can see, it says that you can preview how the content you input will display to customer for content that will appear in multiple scenarios such as the product details page, live or search result page. You can preview it in corresponding scenarios. So on this right side of your screen right here, you can see how the product will be seen by your customer. And on the left side of your screen, you're going to be able to see the suggestion that TikTok ask you to make. So the suggestion are the things that are going to help your product to sell better. It says here that I will have to add more pictures because it's better to have more than two pictures and on the detail and it says here that I will if I want my product to sell better I will need to fix my product details. I'm just going to leave everything for now. And once you're done with all of your listings, you can just go ahead and click submit for review. Or if you would like to change something later, you can always click save as draft. But if you're sure that your product is good enough, you can always submit for review. Just going to submit it for now. And that is it. You finished creating your listing. Now you just have to wait until TikTok approve your listing and then your product is good to go and you can start selling that product. And that is it. That is how you can create product listings on TikTok shop. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.